Hello, the interwebs, and welcome to a review of the Thrustmaster T80 racing wheel. Uh, this is actually a review discussion, so... But before we get into it, we actually have done an unboxing of this, so if you want to check it out, as usual, it's on Doug's face. Being very good use of my face. Yeah, very good use of your <laughs> face. All right, so let's get into it. We'll actually get into the uh, cosmetics of it first. Yeah, let's have a look. Yeah. Oh, this is, this is actually the first time we've seen it. No, just kidding. We haven't really. Why do you oh, want to make so much noise? Can you make, noise? Noise, yeah. can you make any more noise with that? Jeez Louise. <laughs> All right, so... Now, we actually did a review of another racing wheel by Thrustmaster. Um, that was the Ferrari... Fa- for- 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 <laughs> the Ferrari Spider. <laughs> the Ferrari 458 Spider racing wheel. Now, they have a very similar design, for one, like the actual with the wheel itself, but and with the, on the sides you've got like your nice rubber grips as well, so they actually feel quite nice. Um, the wheel itself is a little bit smaller. Is it? Yeah, it's like a junior size wheel, yeah. I would say. It's more for, like, it's a good size uh, diameter for, like, um, teens and young kids and, and stuff like that. And if you have small girl hands like Reese, yeah. perfect. Yeah. Not like your oblong Large fingers. Large hands. Yes, um, apparently. Yeah, but not as... Uh, Lucas's sausage fingers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it doesn't quite work that well. <laughs> this is a review discussion. Yeah, you're trying to touch it. <laughs> abusive... <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, yeah, smaller wheel. I, I'm not a, a fan of that smaller diameter. I didn't feel comfortable yeah. as much holding this wheel as I did a, like a normal size steering wheel. I yeah. guess it takes a little bit to get used to, but I didn't find that I got used to it for the time period that we got to use it. So. Yeah, um, the like the nice thing, or not nice thing with it actually. They've actually they've followed the whole black theme. So they didn't put any extra colours or anything onto the... Yeah, it could have been no, nice. Just like a PlayStation 1 colour. That would have been great. quite interesting. Well, that's that's going pretty crazy. Do you crazy, want gold? Man. No. No. But like white? the whole black... Every, black goes with everything. That's pretty nice. Um, even when it comes Get down to... the dark though. Down here, on the Ferrari <laughs> unit, there was actually holes, so it seemed like it could breathe, but that seems like it's on the bottom now, which seems like part that would get covered up. But that's okay. That's fine. Um, so what are they, these are for nothing. These are for these nothing. Are just, yep, these are just indents just in the plastic. Cosmetic. Just complete cosmetics. Do you like that, Doug? Does that look good? No. I guess <laughs> you, I'm real, real impartial. Yeah. No, but I think even though that it, it's probably better than if it was just flat, I guess. Yeah. Like it would be really, really plain otherwise. Um, also, the flappy paddles that we've got here. The up and down for the gear changes. These are all plastic, whereas the other racing wheel that we got to use was made of... Metal. Aluminum. Aluminum. Aluminum, aluminium, as we say in... But it's still... Yeah, great down under. Still nice. Clips. They still do feel pretty nice. They're not as big, so they're yeah. a lot smaller. Actually... It's, you do have a small steering wheel, and you do have the small flappy paddle, so everything's a bit more compact again. Um, we, we have the buttons, the actual L3, L2, R2, R3 on the actual wheel. And do you know where L1 and L2 are? Oh, L2? Oh. Yeah, that's these ones. Stop yeah. hitting oh. the microphone. Yeah. Can you put it on the table? <laughs> I'm going to put it on the table. Yeah, this. Um, yeah, like those buttons I felt got in the way a little bit when I was racing around. Yeah. So I don't know how you guys felt about it. but um, I actually didn't even touch them once. So that's fine. But what I do Fox like about fingers them yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> is that they are labelled with like L3 and stuff. And L3 is the, you know, the, the push actual push-in yeah. of the joystick. And that's one of the odd ones that you're like, where is this yeah, button? Does this do anything on yeah. the actual game? Yeah, yeah, rather than, I guess they could have left it a bit more ambiguous if they just wanted to you know, make it look more like a steering wheel. And then you wouldn't really know what the buttons are. Yeah. Unless they're clearly labelled. Um, I did like, did we talk about the stand on the... On the Ferrari unit, yep. I thought that the stand was functional. It worked. It's very, it. very easy to actually set up. Mm. Pretty much, it's just you set it up underneath the actual table, screw it in, and then you lock it. Get it nice and tight, lock it in. Um, another little, cool little thing that I, I actually thought was pretty cool about this is it's very easily compatible with a PS3 to PS4. So this unit works directly with. Both of them. Like X generation, X generation? X, last last generation. generation consoles, which is good. The other unit didn't do that. Um, so this one actually has a bit of extra features to it as well. Um, now, this is not a force feedback controller, but it no. does have a bungee cord inside of it, which resets itself all the way back. So, No, I can hold it this time. Oh, you can hold it, yeah. Fine. <laughs> it doesn't seem like do it, it actually... Just one more time. Just one more time. Just, just one more. One more. <laughs> 
It doesn't seem like it wobbles as it's much so as the other one. So like. this one's a bit more stiff than um, the, <laughs> the Thrustmaster is more stiff. Um, yeah, so like it, it, it feels pretty nice. And we'd, let's talk about the actual the, the pedals as well. So the pedals on this, again, very similar to the Ferrari unit. Well, they, they um, are the same. They are the same, yeah. yeah. So it just connects just via your... What is this lead thought again, Douglas? E45. Modem cable. Yeah, modem cable. So E45. I think it's E45. The pedals can actually be rotated as well, which is like pretty nice. So if, if you want a bit more extra... Height? Height on them, yeah. You can yeah. actually... Um, I'm pretty sure it's you, you can as simple as unscrewing it and then just the rotating it. And if you have you a go. screwdriver. If you have a screwdriver, if you don't, you're in a pickle, mm. in quite a big pickle. Um, Sorry, like it? No, it's fine. It's fine. So it feels pretty nice. It's it very easy to set up as well. So like the fact that it has the share and options as well. If you're doing a racing game and you want to just share something straight away, it's all there. So it's pretty simple. They don't have a slash start and slash select though. It still frustrates so, me. Yeah, options. It's always Does options. not work with GDA five. Does not work. <laughs> yeah, that's baseball. what we did try. What did we try it out on? I can't remember. Drive we tried it out on Drive Club yeah. and the crew. Yeah. So I felt like it, it operated a bit nicer on Drive Club than the crew. Um, Drive Club does but feel like a nicer game. That's sort of like we spoke about um, on the Ferrari four five eight Spider. <laughs> um, <in terms, laughs> Give it a good wrap. That's more a software issue. Yeah. I guess, like, as in not the hardware. Like, I thought it, the actual wheel itself still, it felt. It quite functions nice as to, it is supposed to function. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But then just how it actually interacted with the game, which is more the game. Yeah. It's fault whether that's something that can be patched. But again, we're horrible at car racing games. Mm. We are just terrible at that. But I didn't. Maybe I, I come at it from a different angle, but I'd, I felt like you should be able to just plug it in and it just had some general settings that hey you've plugged in a Thrustmaster um, T80 and, uh, <laughs> and then it just says okay do you want to load default settings for that wheel yeah and didn't do I, that that would be more game orientated than the actual yeah I know I but I don't know if that generally happens but yeah. in terms of food you're a 12 year old kid that, that's probably what I'd want to happen yeah like, instead of researching everything for it and having to try and tweak settings and things but it's just straight direct USB into the PlayStation. There's yeah, no awesome. bungee cord or anything like that. Um, so if you do run around and be stupid, you might break the unit, but don't run around and be stupid. That's fine. Um, and there's also one little thing as well. It was pretty easy to set up. All you have to do is just plug it in. You, instead of having your controller set into it, you just hit the PlayStation button, and then away you go. Yeah, you start so to play. initially turning it on, like pressing the PS button will... Uh, allocate the steering wheel as the controller that you are using. Yep. And then you've got the D-pad here, which works fine. Yeah, it's a D-pad. It's a D-pad. They're all D-pads. But yeah, they work. All it buttons. is actually, it's, it's a little bit better, this D-pad, in clearer clicking than yeah. the other, the Xbox racing wheel. Yeah. We tried it out. So. More mechanical. This is not a I button, think. though, just so everyone knows. Not That's, a horn. We wanted it to be a horn. Oh, even if it was just a fake button, like, I would have just enjoyed just pressing it and even doing if nothing. Even it Sony, like Sega, that'd be cool. No, they did, didn't do that. No, shattering. Um, but yeah, like it, like it operated pretty nice. What's your final thoughts on it? Well, my final thoughts are: look, this is a sub two hundred dollar racing wheel. Uh, I'm going to say, like, if you've only got that much money to spend on a wheel, this is fine. It's it works fine for what it is. I preferred a larger wheel, but you would get used to this one, which is fine. Um, however, if you do have a little bit more money to spend, go out and get the next one up. Yeah, I think it depends on what you want. I yeah, think it if rain. you were, like I said, teenager, this was what come under the tree for Christmas. It would be probably a pretty yeah. solid thing, but just you just enjoyed playing you know, more casual racing yeah. person, I guess. You want to feel the wheel? Go for it. But if you want to take it back from grandma buying it for you and you want a little bit better, just spend a little bit more money. It'd be pretty good. And so these are upset. running around in Australia right now for one ninety nine. Yep, one ninety nine ninety five. Ninety five. Sub two hundred. You get risk. five cents back <laughs> if you take two hundred dollars. <laughs> Sub two hundred. Sub two hundred dollar unit. That's fine. Um, but if you only got that much to spend, and you do have the option of either getting an Xbox wheel or the PlayStation wheel, and it doesn't really matter which one you want, I would say that the Ferrari four five eight is the wheel to go for for the around the same price. If you have an Xbox one. 
Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't, get this one. Yeah, it's cool. Well, this is a re- review discussion for the Thrustmaster T80 racing wheel. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, check out all our other videos of reviews and unboxings and whatnot. Is we it took this links one. Here, race? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, we took be. We took this one out of a box, and you can see that. Yeah, right there. Yeah. But that's, this, is, this will be the second, third time that we've actually said about the unboxing, so that's fine. And you can also see the uh, Ferrari review here. On this face. Yeah. What about if they like hearing our voice and want to hear more of us? Then you can see it. Here, Doug, you got to point to it. You can go to our podcast. Yeah. We actually right. do a video podcast. Video? Audio? Bit of everything. Yeah. Check it out. Thanks for uh, watching Interwebs. And uh, check all our stuff out. Thank you.